الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحب التفلاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I wanted to talk about the importance of cultivating ourselves in our communities on proper Islamic tarbiyah meaning how do we raise up the communities because some of what we've witnessed is that in fact we've laid a very destructive foundation for a lot of the people instead of a positive foundation meaning we haven't truly cultivated the usula ittiqada ahl sunnah we haven't given the people the true foundation principles of ahl sunnah wal jamaah Often the mistakes we made is that we cultivated the people on major masail and issues in fact really reserved for the scholars instead of really focusing on raising the people up with tawheed and sunnah and those base principles in order to him. So this is why in this time we find that we have a lot of people who involve themselves in major masail and we see that many of the general muslims are busy with issues of takfir and tibdi' and calling one another mubtadi'a and they're so distracted by these types of issues and these are major masail that require really being grounded in the religion that the common muslim is busy with these things and unfortunately many people associate that with followers of the sunna meaning callers to salafia so i that's why i think a good positive thing that's been happening for some years is that many dua to sunna have been trying to correct this by going back to uh, properly giving the people tarbiyah, you know, helping the people to raise up and understand their religion and beginning as the scholars, the Rabbaniyun, those scholars that, <clears throat> that call people and raise up people with the beginning issues in the religion before the major masail meaning that they tadarraj fil ilm that they they take knowledge in steps and we can't really underestimate the importance of that and that's why we see in fact really such a growing backlash and a hatred for from a lot of people uh, an animosity towards the Dawah to Salafiyah. And maybe they associate it with all kind of Ahzab or partisan groups instead of looking to what those principles are because we haven't presented those principles properly. We haven't shown them that Dawah to Salafiyah is everything in the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That it is just simply the call to the book and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the understanding of the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala in meaning what they had consensus on that this is the basis of that call so that means it, that includes manners it includes how we interact with one another it includes of course the call to tawheed understanding aqidah uh, how we interact with one another all of those things and how we interact with other communities all of that is a part of true Islamic culture Islamic culture not such and such culture such and such tradition but the culture of Islam the culture that comes from the book and the sunnah of our Prophet that's the method of the Salaf for example, in the issue of manners, because we hear so many people critique 
Salafis and others for their poor manners. But it shouldn't be that way if we're doing our job properly. Why? Because our Prophet said, the Prophet said there isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believer than good manners. And verily Allah hates wicked and sinful speech. So that lets us know that's a huge part of the religion, is having good conduct. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us of our many shortcomings in everything that we do and all the mistakes we do knowingly and that which we do unknowingly. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu wa astaghfiruka liman a'lamu wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad. وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم